A big part of the holiday season is quality time with friends and loved ones. So we rounded up some spots to catch up for all times of the day and all kinds of vibes. Here we go. For nearly two decades, Ant's Pants Cafe has been a humble hotspot for breakfast and lunch. Great food, friendly service, and a warm environment. With hearty plates like bacon, egg, and cheese stuffed brioche French toast. He gets it all the time, every time here. The pancakes are the top seller. We have the best pancakes. Other favorites include the veggie hash, the maple bacon sandwich, bacon cooked in maple syrup, and the pork roll with a side of hand-cut sweet potato fries. This is an Australian thing. Ant's Pants was started by two best friends as an Australian-themed cafe. How is your grilled cheese? Paul Puma came on board 15 years ago. My first shift was as a dishwasher. I wouldn't leave. And the avocado turkey sandwich? Though the menu has evolved, you'll still find that Aussie influence in the drinks. One of our favorite drinks is a flat white. Think latte with equal parts espresso and steamed milk. Flat white. The Australian iced coffee is like a milkshake with espresso. As for the name, Ants Pants is an Australian term for like the best. Cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, the Ants Pants. For dinner dates, Bar Le Jour is the newest offering of the Schulzen Collective. This is our modern French restaurant. With dishes that showcase classic French technique. I mean, we're talking days and days and days, putting what looks to be simple on a plate. Seasonal appetizers include tuna crudo, mushroom carpaccio, and bay scallops with a duck cell. It's classic French preparation of mushroom and shallot. The Scottish salmon is hickory smoked table side. You don't need a knife right through with a fork. The meals are made to be paired with cocktails. The Santé Spritz has vodka and Lillet Rosé. Which is like an aromatized wine. Grapefruit soda and champagne. The burlesque martini is made with citrus vodka and raspberry simple syrup. And topped with champagne and a candied raspberry. A pair of Bordeaux. The desserts are simple but decadent. Citrus tart done over a shortbread. With grapefruit pieces on top and drops of herbal liqueur on the side. Tis the season to overindulge and imbibe. <laughs> Lovers of cocktails and vinyl should check out the new 48 record bar in Old City. It's a tiny, beautiful listening room. That sits atop the legendary Sassafras cocktail bar. For full transparency, I did actually bartend here. 27 years ago. Cocktails like the industry Negroni are made for sipping. It packs a punch, shall we say. The red ink is a mix of vanilla and citrus vodka and aged rum. Finished with a cascade of cherry. This is a classic. That's the rum-based Hemingway daiquiri. One of my favorites. And there's a menu of comfort snacks to match. That is definitely bar food. With dishes like deviled eggs and butternut squash flatbread. This is an old dish called Welsh rarebit that I would have eaten as a child. Here, the toasted cheesy bread is topped with a poached egg. Oh, and served in a music library filled with hundreds of albums. They can come in, relax, decompress. <laughs> that kind of slow down vibe is what this place is all about.